Hi guys and welcome to the Sikini's Gardener. Today as you might have guessed I have an unboxing video. In my last video I had said that I had ordered some flowers, African violets from a nursery in Kerala, South India and uh, the package has arrived and as you can see I could not control myself and I took a peek but I haven't taken out the plants so this is sort of a complete surprise for me i mean not really a surprise but i really don't know what exactly is inside how the plants look uh, whether they're in good condition and um, i received this package yesterday it's not bad it took about uh, uh, five days i think for it to arrive and um, let me just share the details of the pricing with you so uh, let me just show you this is a nursery called Tharappal Nursery in Kerala, uh, Annapara, Chulliyod Post, Vayanad, and so uh, I'll just uh, walk you through how I uh, ordered this plant. I just put a search on Facebook for gardening or plants and all that, and then I found this, came across this nursery's page. And I saw some really nice photographs of African violets and they were on sale. And uh, I thought they were at a really good price because I had seen African violets in another uh, website. But it was um, only single petal, single uh, African violets, not double petal African violets. But this one was double petal. Photos looked very enticing so I thought I'll try. So I... Uh, messaged them and this gave me a whatsapp number to contact them and I contact them on whatsapp and then they they have a catalog on whatsapp and they asked me to go through it I saw the African violets and they had a 10 piece pack and a 5 piece pack uh, I was very uh, drawn towards the 10 piece pack because it offered a bigger discount of course but then I thought uh, I don't know I, I haven't handled African violets before so getting such a huge amount of plants might not be uh, wise so I chose to go for the five pack plant it was actually a four pack uh, four plant pack with the uh, one extra plant uh, uh, as an offer uh, as a freebie so that cost me 800 rupees okay so the pack was for 800 rupees for four plants plus one free uh, which is pretty good then I saw another house plant that I liked, which is uh, the Peperomeria uh, raindrop, prep, uh, teardrop, sorry, prep Peperomeria, which is like, uh, which has a teardrop shaped leaf. I mean, it has teardrop shaped leaves. I don't have that plant, so, and it was just, uh, it was for 60 rupees, which was like very cheap. So I just put that in as well. And the reason why I wanted to order a lot of things, but I controlled myself because it is winter's. And it's pretty cold right now. It must be around. Um, uh, it's uh, showing nine degrees on my uh, thermometer, but uh, it will probably be a little bit colder than that outside because I'm inside the house right now. So it will probably be six, seven degrees outside. And I have made the mistake of ordering or buying plants um, in the cold in the winter and see them die. A couple of times so and especially these um, tropical plants that do well they could survive indoors but uh, it is better to get them acclimatized in the summer than buy them in winters and throw them completely suddenly into this really cold weather here uh, by the way I live in Sikkim in India which is it is towards the northeastern part of India and it has kind of like mild winters I mean I don't know if you call it mild but uh, we go down up to around four degrees Celsius in the winters maybe slightly lower than that as well but we do we don't freeze here we don't go into minus degrees mm -hmm. but still it's cold compared to rest of India so that is why for people living in this these parts I suggest buying plants during the summers when it is safer you know it's going to survive anyway so let's get uh, I, I forgot to tell you that they also asked me to pay shipping charges for 500 and a uh, shipping charge of 540 rupees which I thought was quite a lot but then uh, it still did not um, uh, it it still cost me cheaper than the website that I was looking at for African violets there it was costing me the single flower African violets were 
single petal African violets were causing costing me around 350 rupees per plant and they would probably have charged me shipping car charge of like I don't know 90 rupees 100 rupees whatever but it would still have cost me more ordering from Kerala uh, it's cost me around 230 to 20 I don't know somewhere around that so it's still cheaper I am so excited I have been like still uh, since last night I've been like dying to open this box and see what's inside so as usual they have a lot of uh, cut up paper to protect the plant okay I'll just take this out as much as I can and also it's nicely like I was so scared because the delivery guys you know how they don't handle packages very well especially here I've heard horror stories so I was really scared but they have packed it well so I'm hoping to see some good plants here okay, let's take this one so uh, I think I need scissors oh I can already see some soil that has leaked okay I need scissors just a moment This is not that great. Oh no, I think the plant has come off. Okay, I can see roots. Okay, this is not really what I was expecting. But it's okay, I can see some roots. In, uh, I think it just, it was planted but it came off. There is no tag or anything so it's planted in this I think they have they tried I would give it to them they I think they covered this with cotton there's a cotton pad here they tried to block the soil but I, as I said the handling is pretty bad so it could be because of that let me just keep this so as you can see okay let's just try and see Otherwise, the plant looks fine. I need to clean this up. Right? Otherwise, it looks fine. It's a medium size. It's not a. It's not as tiny as I was fearing it would be. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Now let's look at. Maybe the others are doing okay. doing okay still has some soil in it and some perlite uh, do I see okay I was actually hoping to see some blooms but it doesn't have any blooms it's all right at least it's in the pot uh, they've put cotton here so let's get to the next plant oh my god I think this is a freebie I don't know what it is it's in a plug this I think this cocoa plug they have what is this? I don't know what it is. 
it's a oh this is so sweet i have never received a free plant <laughs> i have uh most of the times ordered seeds uh plants i've ordered i've ordered orchids online and i guess because orchids are expensive they never give you a free plant so okay this is very sweet i need to figure out what this is maybe i'll whatsapp them and ask them what this is all right now okay maybe this is the pepperomeri i am guessing Yes, this is the raindrop peperomeria. Can you see the shape of the leaves? I have, okay, this, the leaves have got squished a little bit. I was expecting this size uh, of a plant, so it's okay, but the plant looks very healthy. Uh, I just hope it survives. It's in a cocoa coir. It's just cocoa peat and in this plug cloth kind of plug so i'll keep this aside the leaves have been damaged but this looks like a bushier bigger plant is the camera focusing I'm not sure okay it is a bushier plant but see the and you have to uh, also accept that uh, African violets do have a very delicate structure. I mean, they have delicate succulent-like leaves. So it is it is expected to get some damage like this. Um, I'll be removing, cleaning this up. The African violets are very similar to gloxidias. And if you have noticed, gloxidias also have similar leaves. Leathery, velvet-like leaves. And... Uh, uh, very juicy stems but I'm happy with the plant but I do need to get rid of this as soon as possible because I think it's wet and I don't think that's good for the plants the only thing I wish was if there were tags to tell me what exactly which plant ah! okay this is also coming off oh my god this okay that's a huge ball as in like healthy roots huge set of you but it's covered and I think a leaf I can propagate this see um, this is a leaf that has fallen off, a healthy leaf. I'll try and propagate that. You just have to st stick it into soil like this, with this this part down. Stick it into soil and hope that the roots will come out. Okay, this is really sad. But I blame the courier delivery uh, people because I've seen how they handle packages. They just throw them around no matter what is written on the... Because this... When it, uh, it with live plants, they show you which way is up, right? As is with I think some other delicate items, but they rarely pay attention to that. So, plant. Please, oh my God! This has also come off. It is. A A really big healthy bushy plant but as you can see 
this has also been quite badly damaged. I mean, not. But I think it is loosey. So I think the problem also is that uh, plants like African violets need to be in very loose soil. The soil cannot be compacted. And that is why while shipping, the, they just, it is easier for them to come, uh, come out of the pot. Um, but it seems like I have got a lot of work on my hands. So you have to be careful with these plants and all the soil that you see on the leaves, I cannot just... It's better if I brush them off rather than wash them off because they don't like water on their leaves. And um, even if you put water on their leaves, they need to dry out very fast. And because of the weather here, I don't think that's going to happen. So I will try to brush them off with um, a brush as much as I can. And if that doesn't work, I will have to wash the leaves and... Uh, no, I don't think I'll do that. I was thinking I'll wash the leaves and uh, keep them inside under a fan or something. But I don't think that's a good idea. I'll just brush off as much of the soil from the leaves as I can. So, I don't think... Uh, it would have been best if they put a tag on the pot. I mean, as you can see with the, with the, what has happened, even a tag would not have helped because it would have come off. So it is best if nurseries put tags on the pot so that you know which plant. And now I have no idea, right? Anyway, I'll only know if they survive. I'll only know if they survive and they bloom. So I just wanted to uh, show you a little bit about uh, of the unpacking part where I uh, took off the plastic wrap around the pots and um, I wanted to mention that this is a very important part. Whenever you get new plants just take off all the uh, packaging because uh, when you see what is uh, how this plant is packaged you will understand what I'm trying to say. So this plant uh, came uh, wrapped in a cling film sort of thing in plastic uh, of course nurseries do this uh, so as to uh, save uh, to uh, prevent the soil from falling off what they also do is they'll pack uh, newspaper sometimes newspaper sometimes coco coir and in this case they had put this cotton around the top of the soil to stop, stop the soil from uh, coming off and it was a little moist. It was not wet as I had suspected. It was just moist. And that is not good. Especially for something like African violets. Uh, too much wetness around the stems can cause rot. So you need to remove that as soon as possible. And you can see here that there is uh, the soil that they came in was cocoa peat mostly. And very little uh, perlite. So this can be very good for a climate like Kerala where it is where it has come from because it is hot there and uh, so um, it, the cocoa peat will retain moisture for a longer period of time and nurseries will want to prevent uh, prevent as in like to avoid watering plants too much because it saves them time uh, but for a place like Sikkim and look at the plastic pot as well the plastic pot is also good for a place like Kerala a hot place where it will prevent evaporation and hold in moisture for longer but that again also for Sikkim is not a good thing because we already have a very humid climate especially during summers there is no summers as such I mean of course it gets a little warmer but it doesn't get very hot and uh, it is raining continuously so you don't need to water your plants very often and you also need to uh, make sure that the potting medium is very porous because if there is too much water, there's already water in the air, uh, already a lot of moisture in the air. And if there is too much water in the medium, then the plants will rot. And I have had a bad experience in the past. So after I took out all my plants, this is how they looked. 
and this is how they looked after the reporting and everything thank you for watching and i hope to see you again next time